As we all know, looking at a computer monitor can be hard on your eyes, especially when viewing websites that have mostly black text on a white background. In an earlier video, I showed you how to enable the dark mode for YouTube. Today, I'll show you how to enable the dedicated dark modes for Twitter, Reddit, and DuckDuckGo, along with a cool browser extension for Chrome and Firefox that will give any website you visit a dark theme that's easier on the eyes. Let's get started. The popular social networking site Twitter is one of those blinding sites that thankfully, late last year, added a dark mode, which they call night mode, that makes their site a lot easier to look at. To activate it, select your avatar in the upper right. At the bottom of the drop-down menu, select night mode. The background switches to a dark blue color with the black text converted to white. This applies a better contrast that I feel makes everything a lot easier to read. Having used their dark mode for the last couple months, I have no plans of switching back. Reddit, the self-proclaimed front page of the internet, recently redesigned their site for the first time in a decade. A new feature they added is a dark mode, which they have also incorrectly named night mode, just like Twitter. More on that later. To activate their so-called night mode, whether you're logged in or not, select the drop-down menu in the upper right. Then toggle the switch to turn on night mode. Now you should have a black background with white text that makes the site more pleasant to look at. Kudos to Twitter and Reddit for offering this dark mode feature on their sites, but they don't seem to understand the difference between night mode and dark mode. Dark mode is simply a dark theme that is very useful to minimize eye strain. Night mode, which goes by many names, including Nightlight on Windows, and Night Shift on Apple products filters the blue light coming out of your screens to help you sleep better and reduce eye strain. The night modes offered by Twitter and Reddit do not filter out the blue light from your screens. For those of you that use the privacy-focused search engine DuckDuckGo, they offer two dark themes for you to choose from. The first one can be activated by selecting the menu icon in the upper right. Of the four themes visible, choose the theme to the far right. And this will give you a dark background with all white text. To select the other dark theme, click on More Themes. Of the two dark themes available, the one I prefer is called Terminal. If you want to activate it, select Terminal. And then click on Save and Exit. Instead of having all the text in white, titles of web pages are in green and links are in yellow. For those websites that don't have a native dark mode feature, my new favorite extension is Dark Reader, which is available for Chrome and Firefox. Unlike most dark themed extensions that create a custom dark mode for individual websites, Dark Reader creates a dark theme for the sites you visit without having to install custom styles or themes. It basically just inverts the bright colors on a website, making them easier to look at without all that white light. To customize Dark Reader to better suit your needs, you can select the Dark Reader icon. Here you can switch from dark to light mode, make changes to the brightness, contrast, sepia filter, and grayscale. If you need to make any changes for an individual site, select the box, only four, followed by the name of the website to highlight it before making any adjustments. Here are some other examples of Dark Reader being used on other sites. It makes a Google search look funky. Here's Wikipedia, and it gives YouTube a cool look without having to use the beta version of their site. I highly recommend that you check out this extension. It's completely free, open source, and truly makes surfing the internet easier on the eyes. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments whether you think more websites should offer a dark mode. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the newest tips, tricks, and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.